Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Chante. And today we're going to read The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt from the illustrator of Stuck and This Moose Belongs to Me. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. Do you like crayons? I sure do. Let's see why the crayons quit. One day in class, Duncan went to get out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Who had wrote him these letters? <gasps> hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your ever overworked friend, Red Crayon. Who would have ever thought that a crayon would need a rest? Hmm. The next letter came from Dear Duncan. All right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizards hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my generosity of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Do you color outside the lines? Mm. The next one is from Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I'm beige and I'm proud and I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat, and let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Oh, he is not happy, is he? <gasps> the next letter is from Duncan. Gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray. But let's, that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things with such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Gray Crayon is not happy. The next one is from Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page. You are using me on white. 
If I don't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. This is me. Oh. The next letter is from... Hey, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of everything. Things that are colored in by other crayons, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair. When you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons, how about a black beach ball sometimes? If that's too much to ask, your friend, Black Crayon. How do you use black crayon? Do you use it a lot? Or do you just use it for that once? Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is saying that I like my workload of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write for my friends yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Ooh. So which one should be the sun? Yellow or orange? We need to decide because they're having a discussion. Uh-oh. The next letter. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell you, Orange Crayon, that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking, and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's my it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on the field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Ooh, there's the page. And orange crayon is not happy about it. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you. The big wiener. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he's not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I'm clearly the color of the sun because of Thursday you used me to color the sun in both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Ooh, he did use orange for both 
Meet the Zookeeper and Monkey Island. Hmm. So which one is the true color of the sun? Which one do you use? Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favorite color this past year and the real and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans and lakes and rivers and raindrops and rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing on the crayon box anymore. I need a break and your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. next letter. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me in something to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monsters or cowboy? Goodness knows they would use a little splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. He's not been using pink at all. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Here's another letter. Hey, Duncan. It's the peach crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked, and it's too embarrassing to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Do you ever peel the paper back on your crayons when you're using them? Makes them a little bit naked. Poor Duncan just wanted to color and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. That gave him an idea. What's he gonna do? Do you know? <gasps> when Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Look at all the colors he used. He didn't just use black for outlining. He used black in the pictures for the penguins and the ship and the tail. I'm not sure what that is. An elephant? And he made a pink dinosaur. Oh my goodness, look at all the colors that he used. And an A plus for creativity. So use all your colors in your crayon box when you color because they're all worth using. Have a great day. Bye.